hello, hello. <laughs> happy Tuesday. So, Joshua, guess what happened last week? What happened last week? Britney Spears apparently got out of her conservatorship, which I'm pretty sure is something that you predicted were, was going to happen on the show. And mm -hmm. the New York Post says it's all because... <laughs> <laughs> that's so the, great so the new york post did a whole article on it and it says britney's freedom was written in the stars britney spears 39 was born on december 2nd 1981 that makes her a sagittarius sun with an aquarius moon since we didn't have her time blah 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 first and foremost now was the time she was going now was the time well, always going to be the time she was going to be set free why the stars that are in alignment with her particular chart are bringing destined opportunities her way. Eclipses, which I will bring up here many times, triggered, faded, and destined life events that change our life forever. All that good stuff. And then they have a lot more predictions about it. Do you think astrology predicted Britney Spears being released from her conservator prison? Yeah, we ran the chart, remember? And we're mm -hmm. like, okay. I believe we ran the chart or we pulled cards, but I thought we ran the chart. And uh, yeah, it was time for... No, I, I don't. I forget what we did. I think we may have done both, but uh, no, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, but she's, you know, she's 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 a little out there. I'm not gonna lie, I I was following her on Instagram a little bit, and I'm like, yeah, she's she's kind of she's kind of insane. She's a little insane, but I think anyone would be insane in her shoes, wouldn't you think? I mean, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I mean, <laughs> You don't have somebody get a, a conservatorship on you if you're, you know, 100% uh, normal. I mean, I think she's great. I think she should be free. But, uh, you know, she's a little out there. I think anybody going into that uh, field, like, so young, because wasn't she on the Mickey Mouse Club? Oh, yeah. She went into it when she was, like, a toddler or something. I mean, there's got to be some kind of effect that that has on you. Oh, yeah. I cannot even imagine. Like, I don't even want to do YouTube at 40. I cannot imagine. <laughs> I <laughs> I, I know, but for real, like, I've actually thought about this and I'm like, what if this happened to me when I was a teenager? Like, can right. you imagine? I would have been a holy terror and it happened to her, like, even younger and on such, like, a large scale and having, like, yeah. all that money and every, like, it must have totally fucked her up, honestly, as I think it would anyone. Well, I think it's a weird situation when you're making more money than your parents. And we see this all the time with Macaulay Culkin, um, all these child stars, like, I think it's just, it's, it's weird. Like you remember the whole thing with the Nirvana baby? Yes. I mean, 250 bucks, they paid their pa The parents were paid 250 bucks to let their baby child go into the water naked to be on an album cover. I mean, that's why, like, I don't understand why we need licenses to have guns, but we don't need licenses to have children. Anybody could have a child and completely screw up that child and completely be, selfish and whatnot it's just it's it's fascinating but mm. yeah so one of the things i wanted to psychic just just for fun is i kind of wonder if this is if her getting released from the conservatorship is actually going to be like a positive thing for her because i almost feel like it's it's kind of like lottery winners that have never had to organize their life and now all of a sudden have access to like all, not that they never had to organize their life, but you like they all of a sudden have access to like all this stuff that they didn't have before and they just go a little crazy. So can we psychic if this is going to be like a positive development in her life or if she's going to crash and burn and her father's going to get to come back and say, I told you so. And her father's kind of an asshole. So I don't want that either. So will the her freedom, the release of her conservative shit. Will that be a good thing for Britney? How will it affect yes. Britney, right? Will the will the release of her conservatorship be a good thing? And tell me I should stop shuffling on that. Stop. She'll be okay. Yeah. Um, so the Empress can <laughs> um, The Empress can be. It's going to uh, pop out another kid. Well, she's certainly going to be enjoying her, her life and her senses. I think negatively the Empress can be like too indulgent. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but then we get seven of swords. 
Yeah. So, you know, there might be certain things that she's having to do that are sort of like sneaky. Um, I'm guessing it might have to do with Empress type things like partying. I would say that the Empress next to Seven of Swords, it's sort of like, uh, you know, it might be being excessive in ways that need to really be underneath the surface, uh, like drugs or um, kind of like that. what what caused the problem in the first place when she like shaved her head and not did all this crazy stuff. Yeah, well, I think that that whole thing with Kevin Federline, um, he was after her kids and they were making her get drug tested. So she shaved her head. Or so the story goes. Meanwhile, she also went after like paparazzi with like bats, which I thought was pretty hardcore. Pretty <laughs> badass. I thought that was great. I mean, there. I I think that if you saw that video of her like going after a, a paparazzi, it's like good for her. You know, these people need to like do their job without like infringing upon others' freedom. But your final card is Queen of Pentacles. So this is somebody who knows how to like indulge and get away with it. So I don't think there's any. I think that she's. She's going to be using her noggin. She's going to be tapping into that Aquarius moon. You know what I mean? She's not going to be completely Sagittarius. She's going to be uh, sharp about it. So I think Did she'll be okay. So so it seems like she's going to have a little fun, but it's going to be good. Did you see when like she posted naked pictures on her Instagram a couple yes. weeks ago? Yes. Did we talk about that? We can talk about it. Sure. That, that it was like the ultimate. I, I don't know if we did actually at the time. Like it oh, was like the we? ultimate like, like fuck you to her father to pose naked on Instagram. I mean, her posts are very strange. Like, they go on for a very long time. And, uh, you know, she sounds, you know, certainly not like a 40-something um, person. She seems more like 16 years old. Right? Well, it's kind of like she got probably stunted, right? Well, I, I would think so. I mean, especially... I mean, it's like God Michael only. Jackson. Ooh, good analogy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also a child star. Stunted. Also Absolutely stunted. I don't believe that Michael, we can't say what Michael Jackson was accused of because things, but like, I don't believe he did what he was accused of because he was too stunted. I agree. I, I, I never believed that uh, Michael Jackson was guilty. <clears throat> did you see that Neverland doc? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I mean, you think? Um, I don't know. I mean, you hate to like, uh, a, you know, say that somebody is uh, making an accusation that doesn't hold water because, you know, victimizing the victim. But especially the, um, the is his name Wade? Is that the one? Wade? Yeah, I think so. Wade Robson. Is that it? Yeah. It didn't really ring true to me, hmm. to be honest. The other guy did, but I think the other guy, uh, you know, when you're in therapy, I mean, you can be brainwashed and again like where are the parents when this is happening i don't care how much money michael jackson had why are you letting your child sleep over a grown man's house in a million years mm -hmm. i wouldn't have been allowed to do that thank yeah. god no I mean, for, for real yeah. and and you cannot no you can absolutely plant things in people's heads that are not there or you can like you know remember things that didn't happen yeah especially if the parents have uh, a vested interest Right. Yeah, you know, they could have just said, This happened to you. This happened to you. I mean, it's very there's a lot of stuff that goes on like that, um, unfortunately. So that's why I'm saying I think that in the future it would be really great to have a license to have a child. But then there's the issue of of sex. Well, there's the issue of sex. And then we get into the abortion debate. But I realized my understanding of of, of abortion about um, oh God, we're about to make people mad, but go ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I understood another under uh, like another concept about abortion. The reason why abortion should be legal is because rich people will always yeah. have the ability to have an abortion, either legally or illegally. So it's I'm not saying it should be uh, you know, the socialist, you know, society, but it's really not fair if a rich person can have an abortion legally or illegally, but yet a poor poor person can't. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's one of the reasons why um, abortion should be perhaps yeah. legal. Not obviously in like the, you know, the sixth month or whatever. I think there should be, you know, limitations. But that rich thing really made sense to me. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I think abortion should be legal for many reasons within uh, limits. But I'll also say, like, I don't like the idea of the government telling me that I can't have kids. 
I don't like that idea at all. I want the government out of my business. It is my business. If I, if I like, and we can also make the argument from a spiritual perspective that a child chooses their parents before it comes here. Child right. chooses their parents oftentimes because it's going to fuck them up in the right way to allow them to succeed in the world later. So if mm -hmm. I want to fuck up my child, it is my business. And it's already right. agreed upon in the stars. Yeah, it's written in the stars already. I yeah, agree. Nothing you right. can do. Nothing you can do. Well, I mean, now it's so interesting, but I mean, talk about my body, my choice, like with what's going on in terms of these vax mandates. Can we even say that now? Should yeah, I, I, I that? think we can okay. check with the CDC for all your vaccine related needs. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. The overreach that's going on now. So yeah, I don't know. Interesting. <sighs> Well, we have a lot to talk about, but guys, welcome to Nothing Remotely Controversial. This is a show that Joshua and I do every single week where I talk about news, politics, and whatever really I want to. And Joshua, who is a professional psychic, <laughs> uses his psychic and tarot and astrology prowess to help us peer beneath the surface Ooh. and let us know what's really going on. And if you have a question that you want Joshua to psychic, he is actually like, you're like freakishly accurate with this oh, stuff. good you, you get like a lot of stuff right if you have a question that you would like joshua to psychic you got to send us in a super chat you get to decide how much uh we just asked that if you're going to send us in a question to super chat make it a high level question like will kyle rittenhouse be acquitted <laughs> which we will be psychicking in a second not oh, a low level question like like, where should Carlin go out to eat in London when she's there next week? <laughs> Which, of course, no one is, like, interested in that. Anyway, I don't know. Where do you think I should go to eat, Joshua? You don't need to psychic that. Um, Where would I go to eat? What, what, what food should I get? Like, I don't even know any. Like, food I, is great in London. I, I mean, just want curry. Oh, you will have the best. Well, I always say it's the best Indian food is in London. Of course, obviously, mm -hmm. it's in India. But um, second best would be in London. Definitely. get. You will have the best chicken tiki marsala ever and even the best non like they have great food which is just so ironic because the english get so much flack for their terrible culinary cuisine but it's all around the world like you can get any dish that you want italian french whatever indian especially um so i definitely have indian there's a wonderful <clears throat> place in soho for indian food i mean there's so many places but um yeah i would just i would just explore and also you want to have a baguette a baguette? a baguette? Isn't that for France? Why do I have to go to England to have a baguette? Maybe I'm not saying... No, no, it's a baguette. So what they do there, and I mean, I know they have them in France too, but essentially it's like a croissant, but they pack it with like tuna or or something. But they usually sell them at the... Or they usually serve them in the pubs and it's really great hangover food because you may oh. be drinking. I, I, man, I don't have anyone to drink with. No one wants to hang out with me in London. This was This is all your fault. This is My your fault. fault. You you were like, we should go to London, Carla. And I'm like, yes, we could do a special show from Stonehenge. And I'm like, Joshua, I need to get vaccinated if we're going to go to London. So you need to tell me if we're actually going. You were like, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I can go. And then I went and got vaccinated because I was like, time was ticking and I actually needed to get vaccinated. And then the day after, I was like, I'm not wasting this goddamn vaccination. I'm going to London whether Joshua's going or not. And then you decided <laughs> not to go. This is oh. all your fault. I know. Well, the, trust me, I would love to be in uh, London. I think we'd have a great time, but it's a crazy I'm time. I'm going to be texting you all the time. I'm going to be sending you all these pictures. I'm going to make Did you call your phone balance. service, by the way, to make sure that you have international? That reminds me that, Victor, Victor, you're supposed to call the phone service to make sure. <laughs> We, yeah. Victor works with the company that I, we have the phone through. So this is like one of Victor's assignments, but I do need to call the bank. And that is a good actually reminder. Yeah. That I need to call the bank tomorrow. You got to call the bank. <laughs> you got to remember that the phone chargers are going to be different, right? Because they have dish, different outlets there. You have that. Yes, I have a travel outlet. Yes. Good. Okay. All Ooh, right, right, guys. Well, we are taking your super chats. We've got a couple coming in so far, but I do know that the thing that is on everyone's mind today is Kyle Rittenhouse. So Joshua, the trial for Kyle Rittenhouse is over. The jury is in deliberations. Ooh. They haven't decided yet. They left today without deciding. And what I heard from Jack Posobiec tweeting it out is that there are two jurors that are holding everything up. Like everyone else is ready to go. These two jurors are holding everything up and they're still in deliberations. And what Jack Posobiec said he heard 
is that they're afraid of the repercussions if they acquit him. So it sounds like the vast majority of the jury wants to acquit Kyle because obviously he's was acting in self-defense, but there are two people holding up the show because they're afraid they're going to get doxxed and things like that. So that's quite a lot of hearsay. <laughs> it's not Jack, Jack, Jack sources usually check out Jack yeah. knows everything that's going on everywhere. And he almost always like, I cannot, honestly, if you guys in the chat can think of a time when Jack Posobiec has been wrong, like, chat it in but i cannot think of a time when jack basobic has been wrong when he said stuff like that on twitter he's usually like got it solid okay so we have some stuff to psychic right first off is kyle going to be acquitted i don't know if that's the best way to ask that like what will the outcome be what do you want yeah what will the outcome be of kyle rittenhouse's trial what will the outcome be of kyle rittenhouse's trial the verdict what Say will verdict. the verdict verdict and tell me to stop shuffling <clears throat> stop as it looks now as it looks right now because we we have free will and somebody can change things yeah he's gonna get acquitted you think so why do you think that? Well, why do I think that? Because I have ten of cups here. Ooh, that's a good card. What do you want to marry this guy? You're already married, but if you weren't, you would want to marry Kyle Rittenhouse. He's very cute, but he's also very young, and we know how I do with young men. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, ten of cups, um, happily ever after card. Then you have the fool, though. Oh, what's that mean? So I think in this instance, um, it's about uh, he was irresponsible, perhaps. I think that might be what they they see is him being innocent, right? The fool is about innocence. And then we have two of cups. I mean, this dude, he's he good. Present, he presents well, well, he's a Capricorn. All Capricorns mm -hmm. present. They know how to present very well. Uh, they know how to, I, I didn't even really see it, but I, I saw like literally a snap of it. But yeah, Capricorns know how to go on a stand and present. I mean, if any sign does, it's mm -hmm. Capricorn. Um, and I think he has strong Scorpio in his chart too, from what I remember. So Scorpio and Capricorn, I mean, they're pretty savvy. There's no flies on those two signs. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, yeah. So next I want a psychic. What is going on with this jury? And what is the holdup? Because they should have already come to a decision so far as I'm concerned. So we should go there. We should take this on the road right now and be like, guys! Apparently Jack Posobiec's source is a federal marshal. Someone said in the chat, which sounds accurate. Okay, so what's going on with the jury? What is going on with the jury in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial? And so I'm going to stop shuffling. Stop. Yeah, it's interesting. This is funny. So we have two people. We have Knight of Swords mm -hmm. and we have Queen of Wands. So oh. did you say there were two people? Two people. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> one's fiery and one's very airy. One looks like a female, another looks like a male. And then with the Hierophant, you know, it's about doing the right thing. You know, what's going to be best for society? What's going to be best for the group? Um, you know, that that's really about, you know, doing the right, ooh, excuse me, um, doing the right, sorry, <laughs> do, do, doing the right uh, thing. So I think that, um, I so think, do they yeah, believe I, that finding him guilty is doing the right thing? Well, I think they probably don't want to, you know, as you had said, suffer repercussions. But aren't there, like, armed guards? I mean, a lot of things can happen. Like, they can get doxxed. They can get harassed. The media can leak their names. Like, there are any number of, of negative repercussions that can happen for people on this jury if they come back and acquit this kid who was already found guilty in the media a year ago. You know, jo freaking the jo Joshua, the judge had to instruct the jury to ignore what Joe Biden said. Joe Biden at some point tweeted out that Kyle Rittenhouse was a white supremacist. The judge literally had to instruct the jury to ignore the president of the United States. 
Wow. And that's saying a lot. Um, I was thinking more a matter of like the group, meaning I think they were concerned about riots breaking out and whatnot if he was acquitted. Do you know what I mean? So it's sort of oh, like, well, that's going to happen. We're going to psychic that in a second. That's absolutely going to happen. Yeah. But aren't there like guards and everything? Like, aren't they like poised to protect? Uh, if they were poised to protect, Kyle Rittenhouse probably wouldn't have ever been on trial to begin with. The reason Kyle Rittenhouse was there is that they weren't protecting anything. They were letting that entire city burn down. Yeah. Hmm. So do Sad. you think the, you think those two jurors will like acquiesce and stop holding up the show? Let's see. And someone to stop shuffling. Stop. Let's see. Are they going to acquiesce? Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, Temperance. So, I mean, it, could they conceivably do a mistrial? Yes, they could do a mistrial. They could do a mistrial. The judge could insert himself into it and do the thing. I forget the name of it where he declares like the result of the trial. The judge could dismiss the charges with prejudice. Um, there could be the judge could remove those two jurors if they're if he finds out that there's shenanigans going on and replace them with alternates. There's a lot of things that could go on. So we get four four of cups. So I think this is about more like stabilizing, but we do get ten of swords, which is the end of a problem and it cannot get much worse, right? Mm -hmm. So this is like beating a dead horse. And then finally, though, you get the temperance card. So I I do feel like there'll be some kind of resolution, um, you know, with the temperance card. So yeah, I think that they they they. They will, but I think that it's, yeah, it's a little bit close, a little bit in, intense for these two jurors. Yeah. All right. And the last thing I want to look at is I want to look at if there will be rioting in Kenosha. Directed verdict, Justin. Thank you. That was the term I was looking for. What's it called? Directed verdict. Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like the legalese. I guess so. Um, okay, will there be rioting in Kenosha? Yes, will there be rioting in Kenosha? And so I'm going to stop shuffling. Stop. King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. <clears throat> I mean, if it is, it's not going to be bad. I, I wouldn't think so. King of Pentacles. So there's like stability. And you got Queen of Wands again. And then you got Queen of Cups. So, I mean, you got three people here. Maybe these three people are doing what they can to avert disaster. But I would think if there was going to be significant rioting, we'd see like the tower and, um, you know, fiery dark. But cups. that makes me nervous, though, because it's like if there's not rioting, that means they won. Isn't well, that, that a very sad? grim and fatalistic outlook? Karen. But it's all, but, but it's also but like I mean, realistic. come on, they've already <laughs> deployed like 500 National Guard in anticipation of there being rioting. Well, that's why there probably is going to be secured. I don't, I don't, I don't, I think with those three people there, it doesn't seem like it's. I mean, it's so stupid for them to do that. Do they want to be, you know, have this another scenario just like what we've been going through with this Rittenhouse trial? Apparently, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it. I. I can't see there being an issue with three those three people there. But we shall see. I think the National Guard would deter anyone, right? I would think so, but we'll see. We'll find out. The case. Well, originally, did they? Why weren't the police there? Did they defund the police? Is that why? The police were there, but they weren't doing anything. Oh. Kyle tried to turn himself into the police, and the police told him to go away. It was a whole, it was a whole haphazard of a shit show that has led us to this, to this position right now. The police didn't do shit. I see. All yeah. right, let's move on, guys. Let's take your super chats. We've got a couple in the queue right now. Now, I will tell you, like, I'm happy to talk about whatever I want to talk about. But, like, if you guys have some questions you want Joshua to answer, that's probably going to be more interesting for you than uh, whatever I want to talk about. But I'm happy to do that if that's the road we go down. Um, let's see. Let's see. The first one we have coming in. Will Portland ever make a comeback as cool? I mean, it's very subjective, right? So like what I deem is cool and what you deem is cool 
might be very, very different. Okay, let me let me rephrase in the way that I believe this was intended. Will Portland ever make a comeback as not an overtly leftist crazy town? That actual, will I ever be able to go to Portland again, Joshua? Because I don't really feel like I can go to Portland right now. I really don't. I think I would get beat up. Okay. So will 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 Portland uh, be more balanced in their views? Right. Yeah. And someone to stop shuffling. Stop. Don't hold your breath. No, Portland is ruined forever. <laughs> yeah, I think they're doubling down in the woke Kool Aid. Oh yeah. my God. Why do you well, say that? Ah, uh. this is like, you know, their thoughts. Like, I think it's advantageous for them to sort of beat the drum of disenfranchisement and nonsense. They also, you know, I don't think that oh, they want God. to. God. They don't want to get better. Um, and, you know, it's a way of just being iconoclastic, I think. There might be hope in the future, but it is a road, let me tell you. So, yeah, I would uh, scratch Portland off your list, Dr. Carlin. Oh, they I can would. call me Dr. Joshua. Anytime. Jeez. You oh. knew me before I was a doctor. I did. I did. <laughs> All right. Never going back to Portland again. Fine. Thomas Bennett says, why did CNN run that hit piece on Kamala Harris? And does Joe Biden really plan to run for re-election in 2024? So Joshua, CNN ran a hit piece on Kamala Harris. Wow. I, I read the whole thing on the channel. Uh, yeah, oh, God, it seems like a lifetime ago now. But yesterday, it, it, it was like a really long hit piece where they basically said that Kamala Harris is really difficult to work with and no one likes her and no one likes her team. Talking. And yeah, I mean, shot like like I, we could have seen this coming. But what what the interesting thing about it was is that like th this was like an absurdly long article. It didn't really say anything, and so it was like, why are they doing this? Because there's no actual content in this article other than Kamala Harris is a bitch and no one likes her, and it was just like reiterating that over and over and over again. So it's like they they've got to be like ulterior motives to why they're putting this stuff out there. What is CNN thinking? Why is this happening? It's a really good question. Mm -hmm. So what's the true motivation behind that article, right? Yeah, what's the true motivation behind the Kamala Harris hit piece? And time to stop shuffling on that. Stop. Let's see. Ooh. Well, um, it seems to be like an emotional thing. Um, she disappointed somebody. That's for sure. Uh, with five of swords, their self-interest, hidden dishonor. So my feeling is that it, it was uh, somebody within the circle. She pissed off the wrong person. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then this is success. So she needed to be balanced. And, and that's really what's happened. She was basically getting like, she was getting slapped down a notch. She was trying I to act too big for her britches and they needed to slap her down and put her in her place. I think that she disappointed a group of people or at least one very powerful person. And they wanted to make sure that they um, not only retaliated, but that they also protected themselves going forward, which is, you know, stealing the other person's swords, right? And then really it's about balancing. I think, you know, she's a Libra. Libras can balance everybody but themselves, mm -hmm. right? So like this is them being sort of like, yeah, this is a retali retaliation is what I think. She she pissed off the wrong people. All right. It makes a lot of sense because she's not only a, a Libra rising. I think she has an Aries moon, which makes people even more Aries when you have your moon sign there because it's like instinctual. So yeah, she's not bright. Are they yeah, trying to push her out? Because apparently they think that, uh, so apparently one of the things this article said, and this should be a shock to frankly no one, they're afraid of if Joe Biden doesn't run again in 2024, which we will look at in a second, they're afraid of Pete Buttigieg sliding in to primary Kamala as the heir apparent to the Democratic reign. Uh, huh. But, but like, I guess my question is, like, are they trying to push her out? Are they trying to get Buttigieg in there even a little earlier to like warm him up? 
Come in and stop shuffling. Stop. The world, Hierophant, Seven of Cups. I think it's more a matter of they want to make sure their options are open. Because um, you have the world card, like they're realizing the limitations that they have. Uh, with the Hierophant, I think in a lot of respects, she's not liked by the group. Do you know what I mean? The group. No one likes like Kamala her. Harris. Right. So that could interfere with a Democrat winning the next election, right? And mm -hmm. then with the Seven of Cups, they want all their options to be open. So if you sort of paralyze her in some respects with like such a hit piece, then that's going to open, open things up. But I don't know, Pete going against her. Does that sound good to you? You think that that would go over well? I don't know. I think Pete Buttigieg is more likable than Kamala Harris. So I do. Do you think the, to the world at large he is? Yes. Really? Yes. Kamala Harris is extremely unlikable. Oh, can we look at this? Who's more likable to the world at large, Pete Buttigieg or Kamala Harris? Let's see. So we can use tarot cards for everything. <laughs> do I go to the bathroom now or do I go to the bathroom later? <laughs> <laughs> this is why you go through so many decks of tarot cards right here. Dominoes or Puppuccinos? <laughs> Dominoes' new dip is amazing. Do I love Domino's. You know why? Because you can get good Domino's in New York City. You might even get it in London, actually, in LA, in Boston. And it's the same thing. Consistency. Let me tell you, there's something about consistency. Um, so let's see uh, how the world at large feels about Pete Buttig 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 Buttigieg? Buttigieg, yes. Buttigieg compared to Kamala. Kamala. And tell me to stop shuffling. Stop. Let's see. Okay. I mean, it's <clears throat> it's like a Sophie's Choice. <laughs> I mean, both of them are, I think, are terrible. I mean, in all fairness, you know, Pete has not had as much exposure as her. But, <clears throat> you know, there's an expression, <clears throat> nobody likes a goat. And, you know, I'm not saying Capricorn. that. Capricorn. I, I not not there are some Capricorns that are very very uh, easy to love and easy to like. He's not one of them. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. he just doesn't seem like one. Um, I think if you got more exposure, um, that would be the case. So I think that it's yeah. I think with Page of Wands, I think if he gets more fiery, um, then that would be that would be good for him. But I think that all in all, you know, it's like a toss up. I, I think that the world at large probably doesn't like either of them very much. You know? All right. Well, on that note, the second half of Thomas's question, just does Joe Biden really plan to run for re-election in 2024? God help us. That seems impossible to me, but hey, let's take a look. I am cheering for him to get through these four years, but let's see. Is he planning to? Is he planning to? What are Joe Biden's thoughts or plans in regard to running for re-election in 2024? What are Joe Biden's plans in regards to running for re-election in 2024? In time, when to stop shuffling. Stop. No. I mean, this with this? <laughs> you know what this means? What does that mean? I don't even want to say. What is it? What is, is he's going to die? I think he's planning on it. He's planning on dying? Well, he might in his head. I mean, he's a Scorpio. So Scorpios do have this sort of like thing with like death. They might sexualize death. They might ideate. Uh, I, like, I, I don't, uh, what is it? Ideate? Ideate? Ideate. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think that's where he's at right now, to be honest. I think that he's, which makes sense. I mean, is he what? going to die in office uh, or is he going not, to wait until after? <laughs> we did not say whether or not he was going to die or not. I think that he's planning right now. Um, yeah, I think that with the sun card, again, like the sun on its own can be like, you know, sudden with the ten of swords, like that's the end of a problem. And then with ace of swords, I mean, I think that in his head, he thinks it's over. Um you know, I think that with the extreme cards and whatnot, he might be, you know, ideating his 
his his death, his his demise. All right. Well, and certainly I do not. I absolutely do not think that he's planning on it. I mean, I don't know what he's telling the public, but I think in his little head, uh, he's definitely not being like, I'm going to run in 2024. I don't think he's thinking much of anything in his head right now, if I'm honest about it. All right, moving on. Multi Drider says, with talk from angry prepper about weaponized smallpox, <laughs> will smallpox ever come back? And if so, will it become an endemic disease again? Joshua, will smallpox be making a comeback? Did you ever think that these were the type of questions you would be psychicking on the internet live? For I mean, an it's better than what we did last week. There was some horrible question that we did last week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About Biden pooping his pants or something? Oh, yes. When Biden shit himself at the Vatican. That, you said that was probably happen. the worst, I think. <laughs> um, but this one is what? What is it again? Will smallpox okay. ever make a comeback? Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What's all pots ever? And uh, tell me when to stop shuffling. Stop. Will smallpox ever make a comeback? Let's see. Ten of cups, four of discs. No. This is our last card. This is our second card. And this is our first card. I think that you're okay. Excellent. Um, I don't yeah. want to get smallpox. No, no, no. no. Do you have chicken pox? Yeah, you know what happened when I had chicken pox? Okay, so here's what happened. So my my class, it was like in the fifth grade or something. My class went on a field trip to Boston and we walked the Freedom Trail. Mm -hmm. And you know when you walk the Freedom Trail, you got to climb the Bunker Hill Monument, which was like a whole other rigmarole yes. in and of itself. And so like everyone was like super tired at the end of the day because it's like a long walk. And um, and so I, I like basically slept the whole way home and I did not want to get up the next morning. And my mother completely thought I was faking because my mother never like gave me credit for like any, anytime I was like, like ill or was injured my mother was always like you're faking go to school and it was like no i really couldn't get out of bed and eventually she took me to the doctor and she found out i had the chicken box did she apologize no <sighs> terrible but i got to terrible. stay home for the rest of the week so i was pretty okay with that that's pretty awesome did you ever get um poison ivy no i never got poison ivy now that you can get repeatedly right I think so. Because once you get it's like pox, you can't get it again, I think. Well, allegedly, yeah. Or if you do, I think if you're a guy, you'll get sterile, right? I, I think, I don't know. I don't know the deal. There's a vaccine for chicken pox now. They have chicken pox parties. I don't know what they're doing with chicken pox anymore. Chicken I don't pox know. parties? I won't yeah. be doing one of those. Well, so no, what would happen is like, they would basically, if one child got the chicken pox, they would have a party where all the children would get the chicken pox at the same time. They would just play together just to get it over with. Yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Let's see. Got a couple more super chats. Andrea L says, will the established politicians lose power in 2022? Established politicians. So who are we talking about? Are we like, talking about like the old guard, the people that we all hate? Will will the bad politicians lose power? Can you give me like some like just names off the top of your head? Liz Cheney. Liz Cheney just got kicked out of the GOP in Wyoming. <laughs> they voted to disaffiliate Liz Cheney from the GOP in Wyoming. I'm not kidding. Okay. So we're talking about Liz Cheney. Like who else like are we? Like rhinos. Like, like, I don't know. Like everyone, everyone. Mitch McConnell? Is... No, Mitch McConnell's not up for re-election in 2022. Um, okay. I don't know. The, the, Liz Cheney is the only one I can think of. Okay. So will they lose their power? Yeah, well, like establishment politicians that we hate lose their power in 2022. Establishment pol politicians like Liz Cheney lose their power in 2022, right? Yes. And tell me I should stop shuffling on that. Stop. Yeah, Pelosi might be another example. The Emperor, Hierophant. No. No, it looks pretty stabilized, right? Dang. Dang. Oh. Yeah, I, I would I would say that everybody's sort of sitting pretty, but I don't think that it's going to be 
as problematic as it had been previously with the cards that we got. Well, I hope so. Let's see. We have a couple questions. Hang on, hang on. We have a question, a couple questions about Ashley Biden's diary. So Andrea L and Deb Miguel said, was it so Project Veritas? Um, I think we talked. Did we talk about Project Veritas last week? I forget if we did. Okay. So Project Veritas got raided by the FBI. And, oh. And and not even just like their offices, but like employees' homes got raided by the FBI. And allegedly what they were looking for was Ashley Biden's diary, which Ashley. apparently uh, Biden's daughter. Okay. Yeah. So Biden's daughter allegedly kept a diary, left it somewhere, and it ended up in the hands of Project Veritas. Project Veritas could never authenticate it. And so they didn't do anything with it. But the FBI apparently came calling to collect the diary, which is like a whole new level of effed up because it's literally using the DOJ to persecute your political enemies. And then the FBI was leaking everything they found on James O'Keefe's phone out to the New York Times, which is a whole other level of shit show. But... Deb and Andrea would like to know, was it really Ashley Biden's diary or was this all a scam? So was Ashley Biden's diary involved in this? Was um, it really that, Ashley Biden's diary? Was it authentically Ashley Biden's diary? That Project Veritas had in their possession. Yes. Did Project Veritas have Ashley Biden's diary in their possession? Did Project Veritas have Ashley Biden's diary in their possession? And I'm going to stop shuffling on that. Stop. Let's see. Absolutely. They did? It was really Ashley Biden's diary? In their hand. I mean, you have a hand with some earth, wow. right? I with something valuable clear. in it. We got, yeah. Oh, yeah. Might have been pretty sexy, too. Is she a fire sign? Well, someone said in the chat, Dawn says she showered with dad in the diary, apparently. Dawn, I don't know where you got that information. That might be pure conjecture. But would it really surprise anyone? Showered? Like, maybe, maybe a baby shower they went to together. Okay. Um, yeah, I think so. <clears throat> yeah. Um, what's her sign? I wonder if she's a fire sign. I don't know. Ashley Biden. Let's see. Um, on well, my internet's slow. It's taking a while. Okay. All right. No, June 8th. Oh God. What? She is horrible to look at. <laughs> uh June 8th, so she's a Gemini. But, oh, you know, Gemini's going to be very, very fiery. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Um, Sin says, if you have chicken pox, you can get shingles later. So, uh, fun fact from Sin. Sin, I already had chicken pox, so I'm not going to get shingles, right? Like, I'm all set. I already had it. She I said, had if you have everywhere. chicken pox, you can still get shingles, Joshua. So don't, you know, cut, like, make sure you eat a, you eat a balanced diet. You eat salads and stuff. You eat like I spinach do. and like. I love my spinach like Popeye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right is raining. Guys, this is the last super chat. So if you want me talking about whatever I want to talk about for 15 minutes, you know, take your chances. Right is rain. <laughs> I do actually have questions I want to ask. So maybe my time has come, Joshua. I get to ask my question. I'm the Ooh. captain now. Um, but we have to do right is rain's question first. Absolutely. Uh, when can we expect a more balanced society? It's hard to get up daily to more vax mandates, restrictions, and division worldwide. Need some optimism. Can we give Bright as Rain some optimism about a more balanced society in our future? Let's see. Woo! Another Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Ah! I'd say that's good, but we'll do an actual spread spread. Mm -hmm. uh, so there'll be more balance in our society, right? Yep. And I'm going to stop shuffling. Stop. The magician. Ooh. Oh, boy. 
Uh oh. What? So you got the magician card. Now this guy can be a lawyer, and as we know, there's a lot of like lawsuits. Like Biden's being sued left and right, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So after the magician, what is the magician doing but causing a stir? Oh God. Exactly what you want to see if you're looking for a new structure. If right? it, things need to get worse before they get better. Well, this is Pluto. This is this is Pluto uh doing its work. Um, and then you have the Empress. So things are definitely going to get better, but there's gonna be Quite a shakeup. <clears throat> I'll tell you that if people keep being control freaks in terms of things, if this overreach to, starts happening, there's going to be problems. <clears throat> That's, That's like three of the major cards, too. That's like a big <clears throat> deal. You got Magician, Tower, and the Empress. You're right. Three in a row. But I would say that, you know, the Tower card's a healing card, and then the Empress, something new is going to be born. But with the Magician, you know, the Magician, like we, you know, it's a control freak. And you know, that overreach, I think uh, it could be an issue. Well, people are going to have a breaking point at some point. I've always wondered exactly when that breaking point would be. This would look like a breaking point. I would think mm. so. I yeah. would think so. I would say so. Yeah. All right, well, guys. I mean, aren't they going to get sick of being sued? Aren't they being sued left and right? Well, I mean, that's like, I would think a perpetual state of being for them. Like, it's like another lawsuit. Oh, okay. It's a day that ends in Y, you know? Yeah. All right, I get to ask the questions now. You do. We're out of Super Chat, so I'm in control. So, Joshua, you know what happened today? What? It was revealed by the GOP House Judiciary Committee that the FBI has been deploying counterterrorism measures against parents speaking out at school board meetings. No. Yes. They are actually deploying counterterrorism measures, which is funny because when Merrick Garland recently testified in front of Congress, he said, no, no, I don't know why we would ever do such a thing. And so I have two questions. Question one, did Merrick Garland knowingly lie to Congress? See, now we have super chats. Like the threat of me talking about what I wanted to talk about is like enough to like spur people to spend money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you say your name again? Merrick Garland? Yeah. Was she lying about he, what? Merrick Garland is a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to misgender anyone. I'll get did, Merrick, did Merrick Garland purposefully lie to Congress regarding the FBI counter surveilling parents at school board meetings? So he said that the FBI was monitoring. not was oh, not, not using okay. counterterrorism measures, but but apparently they are. Because so there's a whistleblower Merrick that lying? says they are. Yes, was well, Merrick Garland stop. knowingly lying? Tell me to stop shuffling on that. Stop. Was he knowingly lying? Prudence. Chariot. I don't think knowingly. I think that he was very prudent in the information that he gave. Like, he was very, very careful. I think with the chariot, uh, there was a certain level of control. But I think with justice... You know, the justice is honest. Do you mm. know what I mean? I mean, in some respects, like, wouldn't it behoove him to be honest as opposed to lie or no? I mean, one would think, but now there's this whistleblower clearly demonstrating that the FBI was doing the thing that Merrick, Gar Merrick Garland said they weren't doing. I don't think there's enough proof to actually substantiate those claims. That's mm. my guess. And I think that you know, that's him being prudent, you know? I mean, not only do we not have the evidence for it, but I think that he was, I think that he made... The right move. What sign is this guy? I have absolutely no you idea. You don't like him? No, we don't like him at all. <gasps> oh. He called parents at school board meetings domestic terrorists, Joshua. That's kind of crazy. That is a little crazy. That is a little crazy. Now, Charmed actually coincidentally asked the follow-up question that I wanted to ask. Will any Biden admin liars resign, specifically citing Merrick Garland? I want to know if Merrick Garland's going to resign as attorney general, because I think it looks pretty bad. Let's see. So will Merrick... Garland resign, right? Yes. Will Merrick Garland resign as attorney general? And tell me to stop shuffling on that. Stop. Will Merrick Garland resign? Well... Um, things are not going to be easy for him with five of discs. Good. However, he is 
he, he's, he's installed. Not gonna, he's not going to want to like give up. So I don't think he's going to resign. I think that he's going, they're going to want him to, and that he, there's going to be some fighting. So it, it's not going to be easy for him to stay. Let's just say that. And I think that, yeah, I think with the emperor in the middle, I don't think he wants to give up his power, but let me tell you, it's going to be, it would, it would be wise for him to do so. All How right. Old he he's old. Yeah. I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta take these matters into consideration, but he's in for a rough run of it. Definitely. Good. Good. That's what he deserves, man. That's karma. You called parents <laughs> domestic terrorists. You get what you deserve. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Charm 3SX also wants to know, will our borders be secured anytime soon? Okay. So right now they're completely unsecure? I mean, it's, it's like the southern border is not the most secure border that has ever existed in the will history Will our borders, borders be more secure anytime soon, you said, right? Yeah. Will our borders be more secure anytime soon? And tell me I should stop shuffling on that. Stop. Ace of Swords, success. Uh, it's interesting. So yeah, there's some new thing that's going to be going on with our borders. And there is a balance because we have the success card here. But <clears throat> Seven of Swords. So there might be some stuff that's done behind the scenes. Or, you know, it'll probably... There, there's some stuff that's going on that's a little bit sneaky in terms of our our borders. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that you will see and we will see there being more success or more balance. So more secure borders. But with the Seven of Swords, things are not um, they're not completely transparent. All right. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Thomas Bennett wants to know, will Ted Cruz ever become president in 2024 or 2028? Will Ted Cruz get his day in the sun? You know he's a Capricorn too. Oh, that makes sense. <clears throat> he is also unlikable, but he's gotten more likable to me than he previously was. Because Ted Cruz is kind of based sometimes. Anyway, will Ted Cruz ever become president? So I'm going to stop shuffling. Hold on, wait. <laughs> Did you just drop every single card? Oh! Um, but let's let's do an actual proper um, spread. Will Ted Cruz ever become president, right? Will Ted Cruz ever become president? And I'm going to stop shuffling on that. Stop. You get three major arcana cards here. So the devil, you know, I think he might be working toward that. Like He's organized. made a deal with the devil. Uh, he may have, but then you get the hanged man, right? Um, so I think there's like issues in regard to that. Um, I think there would at least be a holdup um, for, for a while. Um, but with the temperance card, it's good. So I think there's a lot of stuff that he has to go through. The big thing I get is I think that he will find, if he hasn't already realized this, that where he is is kind of good. Like, I don't think that he wants to leave his current station. Like, he you know has I mean? more power now than he would as president? Yeah, I think that he knows he wouldn't win as president. With the devil and the hangman? Like, yeah. And he wouldn't. Do you think he would? I don't think he would. I, I don't know. I think it depends. I think he could win. I think there's, I mean, I don't know. He can make some good arguments. He's can, he, And again, he can be pretty based. He can. I don't know. It would depend on who he was running against, I guess. Okay. All right, Charm 3 is XS says, will the next administration disband the FBI and the CIA? That is a very good question, Charmed. That is a good question. Thank you for asking that. And tell me when to stop shuffling on that. Will the next administration disband the CIA and the FBI? I wouldn't say so. I think that they're, they might be uh, more uh, protective and more defensive around these entities. Um, there is this transition. So I do think that like 
there might be by bylaws added or things that are changed, right? Mm -hmm. And then the temperance card, I think that they're going to come to some agreements. So I don't think it's going to be disbanded, but I do think that there's going to be tighter controls and laws that are changing around their uh, jurisdiction or the powers that they have. Good. The FBI is way out of control. The FBI needs to like fucking relax. I'll be sure to tell them that. It, please do so. Please deliver that. <laughs> and exactly that. Tone. You need to fucking relax. FBI. Guys, you need to relax. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Next time the FBI shows up in my house while I'm in Los Angeles gallivanting around with you, I'm going to say, <laughs> fucking relax, FBI. Guys, you need to relax. Leave yeah. me alone. I'm having fun. You're having fun. Call my lawyer. Arrange it with him. <laughs> yes. Have my people call your people. <laughs> exactly exactly deb mcgill says will the drug cartels survive and push their drugs over our border let's see if we just legalize drugs this wouldn't be a problem um do the drug cartels survive and push their drugs over our border for free i mean i don't think for free i think they're trying to sell the drugs oh i thought they were just like pop them over they were just like <laughs> you guys go have fun have fun. <laughs> Got a deadline? Here's some Adderall. <laughs> um, let's see. And tell me when to stop shuffling on that. Stop. Two of Swords, King of Cups. I don't think so. I think with two of swords, there's there's too much of a um, like a checks and balances or some kind of like blockage, right, for that mm -hmm. to happen. And I think uh, with king of cups, which is water, um, water sign. I think Biden's laws would would definitely prevent that. And they do have like teams that are, I think, assuring stuff like that doesn't happen. So I wouldn't I wouldn't see that as a a major concern. Hmm. All right, Joshua, I have one more question for you. I okay. have one more. I'm going to take a point of personal privilege. So the Moms for Liberty chapter in New Hampshire has been making waves and getting all these hit pieces written about them all over mainstream media because they put a bounty on the heads of teachers in New Hampshire, where they basically said, we will pay someone $500 if they can prove that a teacher is breaking the anti-CRT law in New Hampshire. And then people kept donating. And now the pot is up to over $1,350. So if someone comes forward with evidence that a teacher is breaking the anti-CRT law in New Hampshire, then they have the hefty reward. And so what I want to know... Mm -hmm. is I want to know if anyone's actually going to collect this prize because my contention with the anti-CRT bill in New Hampshire is that it doesn't actually ban CRT. It only bans really, really specific parts of it, but it doesn't ban most of it. And so my contention is I don't think the bounty is going to be collected because I don't think they're going to actually find evidence of people breaking the law because that's not how they're teaching CRT. So will the Moms for Liberty bounty be collected? Meaning, will somebody prove that they're going against this anti-CRT bill? Yes. And someone to stop shuffling on that? Stop. Let's see. King of Swords, the star... Ace of Wands. Uh, it's interesting. I think it could be a a, a man. Oh. And then you have the Star card, which is the revelation of knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. Then you have Ace of Wands. So I think all somebody needs is sort of a suspicion, and then they can substantiate their claims. Do you know what I mean? All right. Well, I'll look, very, that, very probable. I'll look forward to that evidence. This is a case where I would actually love to be wrong. I would love the Moms for Liberty group to distribute the bounty. I would love somebody to reward. I would love to get a teacher fired that's breaking the law. And just so you guys know, if they don't actually get a, uh, if they don't actually distribute the bounty, they're going to donate it to local literacy programs. So oh. it's all going to go to a good place either way. Very nice. That's good. I like all right. it. All right, guys. That's all we have for this week. Now, 
pinned to the top of the chat, I have b- the links for both Joshua's Locals community, which is brand new, and also my Locals community, which has been up for a while. But Joshua, you have an event next week. Yeah, oh, no, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Jesus I, Christ. I forgot about it. I'm going to have to put it on my calendar. I'm going to forget. It's Yeah, because it's it's not only Megan. Kel- can you can I share? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, it's hey. not. All, it's OK. So um, it's Megan Kelly's birthday. So we're having a party for Megan. And it's also a Thanksgiving party. And it's also Carlin's going away party because she's going to London the next day. So it's going to be 90 minutes of uh, Thanksgiving and Megan Kelly. And uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Don't you think it's going to be awesome? Don't you think Megan looks so pretty there? When does she not look pretty? You love Megan Kelly. I need to try to get on Megan Kelly's podcast just for you, Joshua. I don't really want to go on Megan Kelly's podcast like generally, but I would do it for you. I would really appreciate that. Would you be able to put in a good word for me? Of course, I would. Put I would really appreciate it because I, I think that um, I think Megan Kelly is is awesome, and we're going to celebrate her tomorrow. So all you're going to do is join my locals, and uh, this is one of many parties I'll be having for my locals community. Yeah. So guys, I did put the link in the description. It's also pinned to the top of the chat. You can also connect with Joshua at psychicsun.com and mm-hmm. all the other stuff. I guess that's all we have for right now, Joshua. I, I think so. All so- right. Yeah, but Oops. this was this was fun. Are we going to be fun. doing our show next week when you're? I don't know. Home? I feel like I feel like I I feel like I want to give it a try, but it'll also be so late. I don't know. Can we like put a pin in it and say maybe, and we can see I think how that I'm, that's fair. we can see if my internal clock has adjusted to London or if it's just way out of whack and I'm still keeping East Coast time. Does that sound fair? That sounds fair. How many hours is it different? Like what time is it there now? It's five hours ahead of where I am. Oh, okay. So, so 10, this 30, would 11, be 12, like 30, 2 30 in the morning. It might be, might be a little late. Might be, but if my internal clock hasn't adjusted, then I will give it the old college try. Okay. Maybe I'll All show right. up drunk. Who knows Ooh, what could happen? That could be fun. Who knows? All right, guys. I will let you guys know if we're doing the show or not. I'll probably announce it like day of. We'll see how it's going, but I promise I'll try. We do this every Tuesday, mm-hmm. same time, same place. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please mount that like button on your way out the door. Hopefully we'll catch you next week. Have a good rest of your week, guys. We'll see you soon.